many are those whom they seduced. No ship that drew near them has ever escaped. The song of the sirens is enchanting for all mortal men. Only Ulysses escaped them. With the ears of his oarsmen stopped with wax and he himself chained to the mast, so did his ship enter the Gulf of Naples safely. This signaled doom for the sirens. Every morning, the staff of the Banyo Elena put thousands of sunbeds out on the beach. Thousands of ringside seats at the scene of the Odyssey. Fabio D'Alessandro has been working on the beach every summer for years. His ears always plugged up with music. For fear of the sirens, I've never seen a siren, but if I ever meet one, I definitely won't be blocking my ears. I'd like to get to hear one. According to legend, one siren survived Ulysses' victory, the only one of its kind. Fishermen pulled the mermaid from the water, nursed her back to health, and even named their village after her, Parthenope. It was much later that it got the name it goes by today, Naples. A hundred and thirty thousand tons, fifty thousand horsepower, four thousand passengers. Captain Ponte steers the largest cruise ship in Europe, the MSC Fantasia, along the route taken by Ulysses. Nowadays, we have a lot of instruments that help us with the navigation. This makes it much safer than in the ancient world. For this ship, the wind is the most important thing. Because it's so big, from wind force 6 on, it's difficult to maneuver accurately. Reduce speed a bit more. Speed nine knots. At nine knots, that's ten miles per hour, past Capri, the most famous island in the Gulf of Naples. A must see. <laughs> Many are those who want to be part of this famous setting. Being famous for 15 minutes, the Piazzetta of Capri makes this possible. Even in the morning, there are many tourists waiting for their photo in the Blue Grotto. However, no point looking for sirens here. Mermaids don't like having their photo taken. The officers of the Naples Port Authority have to monitor hundreds of freight ships, fishing boats and pleasure crafts at any one time. Now, the huge cruise ship has arrived. It has to be guided in safely between ferries and sailing boats. MSC Fantasia for Naples, come in please. Hearing you clearly, please confirm. Pilot on board at 10.30, come in. Help is already on the way. Bernardo will help Captain Ponti get the floating hotel safely into the harbor. 
a routine operation really, but the wind is strong and the harbor basin is a tight fit for a ship 300 meters long. The Fantasia was launched in Naples by none other than Sofia Loren. Bernardo is bursting with pride. Midship. Midship. Rudder midship. Midship. Good morning. Good morning, Comandante. Pleased to meet you. So let's get to it. Fine, I'll call the command center.